The National Protected Area Authority, under the leadership of its executive director, Thomas Faya Kamara, has taken a stand against illegal mining activities at Lake Sanfo in the Quenadogo district. The peaceful and serene beauty of Lake Sanfo, a globally recognized heritage site, has been mirrored by the destructive action of illegal miners. In a swift and decisive move, a team led by Thomas Faya Kamara raided the illegal mining site and put a stop to all illegal activities that have been causing irreparable damage to the natural environment, expressing his profound concern over the degradation of Lake Sonfo. The executive director, Thomas Faya Kamara, stressed the importance of protecting this invaluable natural resource for future generations to come. He further that Lake Sonfo, located in the prestige Quenadogo district, is not only a sacred site for local communities, but also a biodiversity hotspot that supports a wide range of plants and animal species. The illegal mining activities, according to him, have not only polluted waters of the lake, but have also destroyed the habit of various endangered species. He reaffirmed that the National Protected Area Authority is committed to taking all necessary measures to ensure the protection and conservation of Lake Sanfo and other natural heritage sites in the country. The raid, according to Director Thomas Faya Kamara on the illegal mining site, is just the beginning of their effort to safeguard the precious natural resources and to hold accountable those who violate the laws meant to protect them. NPAA will follow and deliver on that. The vision of the president is to make sure we have sustainable um, management of our resources and our environment. So we are just going to deliver on that mandate. Being the leader, we have not been sleeping. We have been working. There are a lot of goals NPA have scored within this period to make sure the narrative changes as per what people had previously um, got within themselves as NPAA is that n just negative perception. But thank God the perception is now changing and we'll settle for that. Executive Director Thomas Faya Kamara called upon all stakeholders, including local communities, government agencies, and international partners to join hands in the fight against illegal mining and other activities that pose a threat to the environment. Together, he said, we can ensure that Lake Sanfo and other protected areas remain striving ecosystems that benefit both people and nature. It's like we say that the president get passion for the environment. We agree, yes, things are hard. Uh, governments have they go to uh, financial challenges, this, that. But I tell God, thank you. As I talk to you now, we're not able to forget we um, support working here from government. In fact, that do not make sense now. This long uh, uh, um, delay, uh, well, visit in between, because we don't care as we try uh, with um, Deputy Minister, uh, Resident Minister, uh, from where we can look at the week, so far, that. I've been sitting back at the camp, but because we have challenges with funding, and the of the past. Today I am here with my team as a result of government support. And I pray may God government continue to forget uh, that a little way for the NPAA who will be able to use them judiciously, financial prudently, for make we be able to do NPAA then work. Me, like I can tell anybody, I am not in any way distracted from my own job where my president sent me for do. I'm not in any way distracted. Yes, that one day it not go down in life. Everybody go must get in your own interest. But na me, me where they ask you, na me president in interest, na he first at the serve, before I have any other person in interest. Thank so, you very much. call no go down, yeah. call go come in yeah. this night. Um, but uh, just like that. The nearest towns are Kabbalah, 
which is 60 kilometers to the north, and Benugu, which is 40 kilometers to the south. It is located the hills of the Sula Mountains at an altitude of 549 meters, which is 1,801 feet above sea level. Lake Sanfo drains from its southern end, which form the start of the Pampana River, and is fed by seven small streams, with its water's level varying considerably during the year. The lake has a maximum depth of 8 meters, which is 26 feet, and with an area of 8.2 kilometers square, which is 3.2 square millimeter, which is Sierra Leone's largest inland lake. The National Protected Area Authority will continue to monitor and enforce regulations to prevent further degradation of Lake Sanfo and to protect sustainable practices that ensure the long-term well-being of the environment. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.